what's up y'all if you're looking for that mchg um the album i put the itunes link in the description below but most of everybody probably already have it if you have a samsung you know what i'm saying or youtube or whatever you feel me you should have it if you if you're a jay-z fan you should have it um yeah uh, it released today which is the fourth um and like i said people's already people are already talking about it with that being said man let me go ahead and get into this review if you watch my reviews you know how i do what i do is i go over the sun that stand out the most to me and then after that i give like a slight review with that being said enough talking let's get into it first is holy grail featuring justin timberlake um oh and if i'm looking down i wrote down some notes so just bear with me <clears throat> um that beat is crazy like um, great way to start off the album, in my opinion. Uh, his first verse to me, it didn't. I didn't like how he started off. Um, kind of sounded like he was off beat for a minute, but he picked back up. That was nothing. Um, and he wrote both verses. Um, adding Justin Timberlake was a plus. So both of them together was a real good look, which made the track darn near epic. Um, and I also liked the, the breakdowns in the beat too. That that was real dope to me, if not one of the best parts of the beats. Next is Oceans. Featuring Frank Ocean. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Uh his his lyrics was tough. Like, listen to what he talking about, man. Super dope. Um, next is somewhere in America. I like this song a lot. Um, the beat's crazy, but most of all I like the concept. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere in, in America, man. My Molly Cyrus twerking, man. Jay Z said it first. Nah, but yeah. Um, next is uh, Crown. <laughs> it sounds tough too, man. Real tough. Um, when the beat breaks down, it kind of remind me of one. Of, I don't know. Of course, I don't. I'm not sure if y'all heard, but it remind me of um that Kanye album, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. It kind of had like that feel, like that Kanye feel to it. Maybe it's just me, but that's the first thing that popped in my head. But still tough. He was spitting on that too. Beach is better. <laughs> It was hard. It was only 55 seconds. I actually wanted more, man. As soon as it, it was getting, like, super, super dope, and I was by my head, about to break my neck, it just went to the next song. But it went straight to BBC, which is the song, um, of course, for real produce. Well, you know, in the video, for real produce. And, um, yeah, it, it fit perfectly. I was feeling that, that song a lot, too. Um, next is Blue. This song is crazy. Uh, I like how they made, they're making um, Jay-Z and Big, you know, rap back and forth. They, you know, chop some of Big lyrics and they rhyme with Jay and it's going back and forth and um, use Big ad-libs. That was, that was pretty dope, different, crazy. Um, just the concept beat, everything was crazy, man. And of course the songs, like we already heard, like uh, BBC, um, Picasso, Baby, and, and Tom Ford. Of course those two, all the ones we heard in the, um, and a little YouTube fucking ad, which played on every fucking video, um, <laughs> and forced you to watch it. Uh, yeah, I thought all of those were dope. And those were the songs that really stood out to me. You know what I'm saying? That's first listen. I'm going I'm to go back, because I might mess around and like every song. I really didn't hear any weak songs. You know what I'm saying? Those just the ones that stood out to me that really, really, you feel me, caught my attention. Give the album as a whole. As a whole... I think it's freaking genius, man. Not only the fact he sold <clears throat> a million before the album came out, but the insurance, he had like an insurance policy. He's going to have millions of people listen to it. He done already sold a million copies and he already got paid off of it. Perfect promotion. Like if that's not winning, I don't know what is. Him and Kanye, they had the similar a similar type scheme they both build that anticipation but not only did jay give you a, a shorter period but he gave you visuals you know what i'm saying i always tell people like when people record and stuff you can have the dopest song but that visual makes it it always makes it better so we know what we're getting he didn't give us the track list but he gave us the producers that he's working with you feel what i'm saying if that makes any sense to anybody he's giving you the producers and then you get like a little sample of the beats and stuff so you get an idea and it's like in your mind they're making you like the song 
You know what I'm saying? Because I already knew I was looking for those songs when I listened to the album, if that makes any sense to y'all. When um I was listening to the album, I was actually looking for Tom Ford and BBC. And when I heard the beat, yeah. when I heard the beat, I was like, okay. Doom, 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 doom. I just want a Picasso or whatnot. <clears throat> but me personally, I like the album, man. I don't, I don't see how anybody could not like it. But I tell you this, my anticipation for it is higher than, you know, let's say my expectations. They they were higher than what I think of the album, because I think when people do stuff like that, it, you know, you expect it to be flawless, which is impossible. But you expect it to be flawless, and um, that happens a lot. Like with Kanye, when he did that. And he dropped something different. People just automatically said it's up, without giving it a chance, because you know your expectations are so high. That you you're not expecting that. You know what I'm saying? So, but for me, man, I thought it was cool, pretty good. I like a lot of stuff on there. And if I had to pick a favorite song, it would be I don't know. Holy Grail is tough. It's Holy Grail, Crown. Somewhere in America, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, tweet me. Uh, it'll be up there maybe, or you go. You'll see it after this video, and I'll let you know what my favorite song is. But hit me up on all the social networks, man. Let me know what you think. But as far as marketing and everything, like that, this this is genius. I thought Kanye's plan was genius. His was genius, but this this right here is. Because I ain't gonna lie, I stayed up waiting to get the album and, and all that. I'm not gonna flex with you. Most people who who love music was, I bet, if you're a real music fan. So, you know, it is what it is. With that being said, what would you rate it one to ten, and what's your favorite song, man? I appreciate y'all watching, and y'all take it easy. <laughs>